Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. Our number today and every day on the bright side is 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or formulations or skin health issues or our truth treatment products, if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side, 844-236-6010. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call the phone team at 866-735-2470. Ask them about joining the Brightside Ben team, and you and I together can help change the world. Via nutrition and nutritional supplementation, I can help you build your business. If you want to make some money selling Longevity products or make a lot of money selling Longevity products for a one-time $25 fee, you can start a business. Of course, you can also just get your products at the wholesale price. If you so desire, call 866-735-2470 and tell them you want to join the Brightside Bend team. If you're interested in checking out some premium connoisseur high-end skin health products, 100% active and functional ingredients only in my Truth Treatment products, Truth Balm, Truth Serum, Truth Retinol Gel, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. Please check out, check out all the products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Never any fillers or waxes or preservatives or fragrance or nothing that your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. That's why they'll last you six months sometimes. Our Truth Retinol Gel is formulated to last six months. Our Truth Serum, maybe two or three months. Truth Balm, likewise. And Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, when used as directed, will last you anywhere from two to four months. They're all up at truthtreatments.com as well as the Skin Health blog, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side, friends. We've been talking about cancer for the last few Bright Side episodes. Take-home message being cancer is the result of long-term chronic stress. The notion of killing cancer is a failed medical strategy because cancer lives in an environment that is conducive to its growth. So if you kill the cancer but you don't change the environment, the cancer is likely to come back. Also, we can live with cancer cells. You don't need to kill all the cancer cells to, to live an effective life. We can live in a dynamic equilibrium with our cancer. And the body can fight cancer on its own, by the way. The body is fully equipped to fight cancer. Cancers remit. Cancers regress. The body has to be strong. This is the main strategy. This is, this is the take-home message, the bottom line, the point that I've been trying to make for the last last uh, week or so that we've been talking about cancer is that the body can fight cancer. We got to make the body strong. We got to give the body the raw materials it needs, the nutrients it needs, the oxygen it needs. And, and importantly, we got to make sure we're not burdening the body with toxicity, including sugar. While it's true that 
it may be necessary to remove the cancer, kill the cancer with chemotherapy or herbal substances or radiation. If the environment that the cells are sitting in is somehow burdensome, cancer is a disease of burden, the cancer is going to be difficult to eradicate and is likely to return. On the other hand, if we strengthen the body, not only will we, will be, will, will we be more likely to eliminate the disease, but just as importantly, we're going to be healthier. We're going to be stronger, and that's what we're looking for. We want to feel better. We want to feel strong. We want to feel healthy. Forget the cancer. That's just a word. That's a decree. We want to feel strong and energized. Don't, we don't want to focus on eliminating the disease state or the diagnosis. The body can take care of the cancer, but we got to make sure the body's strong enough to do that. Cancer doesn't show up in a strong and energized body. It shows up in a frail body, in a sick body. Even if it doesn't look sick, if the cancer is there, something has burdened the cells. Nutrition is important. Keeping sugar down is important. Helping the body process sugar with chromium, vanadium, and the B vitamins. Caloric restriction, relaxation, mental and emotional strategies, visualization, oxygenation. These are all non-toxic, gentle, powerful ways to make the body healthier and to help the body itself deal with the disease. Now, all that being said, there's also some wonderful nutritional supplements that can be helpful, not just for building the body, but directly for the immune system. If your loved one is dealing with cancer, vitamin C and vitamin E are two important, maybe the two most important of the anti-cancer vitamins. Intravenous vitamin C has been shown to be a, uh, to be effective, as has to, uh, the tocotrienol form of vitamin E. You want about 400 international units of vitamin E and grams of vitamin C a day. If you're doing the intravenous vitamin C, they can put 10 grams right in your blood. That's amazing when you think about it. You have a vitamin that's so gentle and so non-toxic that you can put thousands upon thousands of times the so-called recommended daily allowance right in your blood with not only no toxicity but with beneficial effects. And then there's the longevity products. If you're using longevity, there's not any direct anti-cancer products, but there are some nutritional strategies that can be leveraged by using the longevity products. First of all, with all the, all the uh, uh, talk about specific nutrients for dealing with cancer, you need the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients, the cells, the, the foods a cell eats. This is what the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients are. They're the foods a cell eats. A cell is a miniature version of us. It's a microcosmic version of a fully-fledged 100 trillion cell human being. Cell is a microscopic version of a human being. And it has a skeleton like a human being has. It has a, uh, a reproductive system like a human being has. It has intelligence like a human being has. It has a brain like a human being has. And it, it excretes like a human being does. And it eats like a human being does. But it doesn't eat food, it eats nutrients. This is what nutrients are. The mighty 90 essential nutrients are the food that a cell eats. And it needs all 90 of these things. Without one, it becomes somehow compromised. So making sure that the cell has all the basic nutrients that it needs is key. Not just for cancer, but just for being healthy. And that's where the healthy start pack comes in. The healthy start pack is all your 90 nutrients. It's not specific for cancer, but it's specific for the body. The ultimate essential fatty acids, OsteoFX, and of course the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. The ultimate, ultimate selenium is important. Selenium may be, arguably, the most important of the immune-boosting minerals along with zinc. Selenium may be uh, 200, 400, even 600 micrograms a day. Doc Wallach takes, I think he takes a, a milligram a day, a full milligram of the stuff a day. In any case, selenium is powerfully, uh, powerful uh, uh, immune system booster if you're dealing with cold sores or viruses or chronic colds or if you have uh, uh, any kind of health challenge that requires the, the body's most important health chemical disease-fighting chemical, anti-cancer chemical called glutathione. You may have heard of glutathione. We've talked about it a lot on this program. Glutathione is your body's detoxifying chemical made in the liver. The more drugs you're taking, prescription drugs or illegal drugs, the more you're going to be using up glutathione, which is a whole nother, uh, a whole nother point that demonstrates the really stupid, flawed strategy of using drugs to take care of the body's health. The more drugs we take, and that includes chemotherapy, the more we deprive our body of its natural anti-disease uh, substances, its disease-fighting substances like glutathione. Glutathione is run by a little battery, and that battery is called selenium. 
This is why selenium is so important for the immune system. All right, got more to say when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back. Okay, we are back on the bright side. That line's open for you at 844-236-6010. First come, first serve. Try to get on board early so we can squeeze in as many calls as possible without leaving anybody on hold. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the Ingevity products that you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, please call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Or if you like to order directly off the web, you can head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And the same is true if you're interested in purchasing any of our Truth Skin Health products, including our Truth Retinol 5% gel. If you're dealing with blemishes, acne, dark spots, if you want a nice anti-aging product, retinol is the all-time, along with vitamin C, retinol and vitamin C are the all-time great, most important topical ingredients for anti-aging the skin. Both retinol and vitamin C help stimulate the growth of connective tissue, stimulate new skin cell growth. They're both protective kinds of vitamins, protective substances, particularly vitamin C. And you need high concentrations, and you're not going to find those in your typical over-the-counter skincare products. That's why I came out with our Truth Treatments. And you can find out all about them at truthtreatments.com. Okay, so continue on with some longevity products, some of the important longevity products for dealing with cancer. These are also obviously going to help you with overall health. The beta-glucan products. Beta-glucan is a long-chain sugar. You'll find it in a couple, uh, I think uh, I think they call it RGY 500. i got to look that up. Just look for beta-glucan on your longevity, on the longevity site. There's a couple different beta-glucan products, one with vitamin C, one without. Uh, Fucoidin is also important. Fucoidin contains polysaccharides that stimulates the immune system. Fucoidin is also important for the circulatory system, for helping fluidize blood, improving its movement through the body. That's always important for health. The Fucoid Z is a great way to get Fucoidin. You'll get some in the Z radical liquid as well, although I like the Fucoid Z. Niacin is also important. Um, a study that came out of Australia last year found that people who took niacin twice a day cut their risks of skin cancer by nearly 25%. Niacin is a, a amazing, amazing important vitamin. You know niacin is the only vitamin that the body will actually make itself. Niacin is made in, uh, when we're deficient in niacin uh, from not getting in the diet, the body will actually make its own niacin. It makes it from tryptophan. Uh, niacin is super important though, it's very helpful as a supplement. It's uh, important for the blood sugar system, important for the brain, important for folks who are dealing with dementia or Alzheimer's disease or Parkinson's disease. Niacin deficiency is not uncommon and of course, Niacin also now that we know, uh, at least from this study that just came out, uh, came out last year from Australia, niacin is also important for, uh, for protection against cancer. Longevity now has a niacin product called the Ultimate Niacin, 500 milligram time release niacin. Of course, the knock on niacin is that it causes something called the niacin flush. The niacin flush is when you take your niacin and you get all hot and tingly, and it's kind of unpleasant. 500 milligrams of niacin in a time release dose, time release fashion, isn't going to cause a flush, and you'll get a big old healthy dose of niacin. And oh, by the way, niacin is extremely important for cardiovascular health. Niacin is a niacin is a statin drug. It's a not a statin drug, but it acts like a statin drug. It lowers your cholesterol like a statin drug, and instead of dealing with toxicity, you got beneficial effects, brain benefits and skin health benefits. Oh, niacin is also important for acne. Topical niacin has been used to treat acne. Let's see. Uh, to, to, to the sweeties is also helpful for dealing with cancer. That's because chromium and vanadium help the body process sugar. Chromium, by the way, works with niacin, so your sweeties and your ultimate niacin go hand in hand for helping you with blood sugar and also because blood sugar control is important for di for cancer folks, for folks dealing with cancer. Cancer's cells are sugar feeders. The sweeties may help you if you have, uh, if you want to protect yourself or if you have cancer. I like the Immortalium. That's an interesting one. There's zinc in the Immortalium. The, uh, immortalium is designed, at least it's marketed, to help extend telomeres to keep cells alive longer. But as it turns out, a lot of the nutrients, including the zinc in the Immortalium, have immune boosting benefits, including helping with cancer. Digestive enzymes are also helpful. They'll allow you to get your nutrients from, from food, particularly protein nutrients from food more effectively. Probiotics can be helpful. The cell shield, which contains turmeric, can be helpful. 
Um, and then the Keto FX, the new Keto FX product can allow you to go into the ketogenic diet more effectively. It's also a good source of protein. Uh, that's also that's always important for helping heal and for supporting the immune system. And then we come to our youth and anti-aging hormones, pregnenolone, progesterone, and DHEA, the PPD hormones, which play a major role in calming the body down. Anything that calms the body down is going to anti-age. Anything that calms the body down is going to help the body deal with health challenges, no matter what those health challenges are. Anything that calms the body down is going to support immune system health. And not surprisingly, calming the body down is going to have anti-cancer benefits. A lot of the anti-cancer benefits that are connected to, that are linked to the PPD hormones has to do with oxygen. This is where the PPD hormones, the youth and fertility hormones, pregnenolone, progesterone, and DHEA are superstars. They facilitate the delivery of oxygen into the cells, making those cells more able to do their work. Remember, suffocation of cells is a major reason why cells break down. Suffocation of cells is a major reason why cells start to grow in the chaotic fashion of cancer. So anything that supports oxygenation of a cell is going to be helpful for, it's going to be multifunctionally helpful, including for cancer. And this is where the PPD hormones shine. At the end of the day, cell health or the lack thereof is a function of how well a cell is being energized. And the PPD hormones ultimately improve all cell energetics. They act to energize cells. And that means the cell will be able to do more work, more energy for the cell. The cell can do its work more effectively. And, of course, then it's less likely to become sick. It's less likely uh, to die. And it's less likely to switch into the chaotic growth called cancer. The major PPD hormones that we've already talked about are pregnenolone and progesterone. And they're both versions of cholesterol. Scientists will tell you and lay people will also say that these are derived from cholesterol. I don't like to say derived from cholesterol because they're more cl derived from cholesterol doesn't really say what these things are. They're versions of cholesterol. They're types of cholesterol. When you understand that, you'll see the utter intellectual and biochemical bankruptcy, the medical stupidity, utter stupidity of using a drug to suppress cholesterol. It is ridiculous. And I was just reading, by the way, how the cholesterol hypothesis is dead officially. I've been saying it's dead. I, I, it was never alive. I've been, I, I thought it was the most ridiculous health strategy, heart health strategy ever. One of the most ridiculous heart health strategies ever when I first heard it. Because I knew about cholesterol, how important it was. We learned about it in pharmacy school. Doc Wallach's been saying how stupid the cholesterol theory of heart disease and the, uh, the, the notion of suppressing cholesterol production is to protect the heart, how idiotic it is. He's been saying it for, since I've been following him, at least probably before then. And now it's been officially, di it's been officially uh, uh, called dead by the Royal Mail. The, I'll read the article when we come back from our break. Somebody sent it to me, uh, texted it to me. In any case... Cholesterol is important as a raw material for your PPD hormones. In fact, your PPD hormones are versions of cholesterol. They're calming hormones, they're building hormones, they're healing hormones, they're stabilizing hormones, they're anti-aging hormones, they're youth-promoting hormones, they're weight loss hormones. Yeah, pretty much every single thing you want a supplement to be, you get from the PPD hormones. All the markers of health improve with these substances. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back with your phone calls. 844-236-6010 right after this. Okay, we are back. On the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. Get to your calls here in just a moment, so hang on if you're on hold. We could do have lines open for you if you have questions about the longevity products or health or nutrition or prescription drugs. If you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program or have a health challenge you want help dealing with, 844-236-6010 is our number. From the Daily Mail, Wednesday, uh, this is from, actually this is from Monday. Millions of people may be needlessly taking statins every day. Study claims lowering cholesterol may not slash heart disease risk. Millions of people may be needlessly taking statins every day, according to research, which suggests lowering cholesterol below a certain level does nothing to reduce heart disease risk. You guys, what? you don't need to read it in the paper. It's just logical. It's just common sense. Cholesterol is incredibly important stuff. And yes, 
cholesterol plaques are, are associated with the disease state, but the question isn't the, the issue isn't the cholesterol, it's why is the cholesterol being produced in such abundance, and it usually has to do with biochemical breakdown, inflammation, diabetes, dysglycemia, messed up blood sugar. The reason our cholesterol goes up is because we're not healthy. The answer is not to poison the body further, to suppress the health further. This is the, uh, this is a classic example of the utter stupidity and failure of the modern medical model when it comes to dealing with chronic long-term degenerative diseases. Yes, I know infections and antibiotics and life expectancy has increased. And, you know, there's some things the medical model does that are good, particularly when it comes to uh, mechanical trauma as well as infection. But when it comes to long-term chronic degenerative diseases, heart disease and cancer, statin drugs, pharmacology, doctors are irrelevant. No, they're worse than irrelevant. They're dangerous. And this is why you read how doctors are a leading cause of death and prescription drugs are a leading cause of death and hospital errors are a leading cause of death. It's not your individual doctor's fault. The individual doctor is usually a good person who wants to help out. He's just a sucker. He's just bought into this medical model. He's just as entranced as his patients. Probably even the, the, the research scientists at the drug companies think they're doing a good thing. But it just flies in the face of common sense to think that you can cut something out of the body or that you can suppress the body's chemistry and be better for it. In the case of statins and cholesterol drugs, the side effects associated with statins are, associated to the, are linked to the fact that you're suppressing the production of cholesterol, which is super important and actually a type of pregnenolone and a type of progesterone and a type of DHEA. Cholesterol and DHEA are versions of each other. So I don't like saying that pregnenolone is derived from cholesterol. It is a type of cholesterol. Likewise with DHEA and likewise with progesterone. And we haven't really, we talked a lot about pregnenolone. We've talked a lot about proge progesterone. Both of these are important. But pregnenolone, which turns into proge progesterone, is also turned into DHEA, which is arguably the most important of all the body's hormones. At least it's the one that's most abundantly produced. We produce more DHEA than any other hormone in the body. And I will uh, spend a lot of time talking about DHEA. Particularly, well, we'll talk about DHEA, how it regards cancer. We'll also talk about DHEA for anti-aging, DHEA for anti-stress, DHEA for youth and, youth and fertility, DHEA for bodybuilders. We'll talk about the versions of DHEA. We're going to spend a lot of time talking about this super, super, super important hormone substance. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We do have lines open for you. Let's go to Minneapolis, Minnesota, and welcome EB to the bright side. Good morning, EB. What's going on? EB. EB? Do we have EB? Going once. Going twice. And I'm not sure where EB is, but we'll put EB on hold. Actually, you know, it's our only call here, so... EB, I'm not sure what happened, but you're not there, uh, and I'm just going to I'm just going to move forward here. All right, got a couple things I want to talk about here in terms of studies that just came out. Uh, single species of bacteria can reverse autism-related rela social behavior in mice. So we have EB back. Do we have EB? All right, EB, got you. Got to call back, buddy. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened, and uh, I'm not sure what happened, Blake, either. So maybe you can look into that. So, Single species of gut bacteria can reverse autism-related social behavior in mice. The absence of one particular form of gut bacteria can actually, uh, actually in, in, induce, the absence of this bacteria can induce uh, autism behavior, and replacing this bacteria can reverse autism behavior. This is from Baylor College of Medicine, as reported in the journal Cell. This is so important, you guys. Autism more and more is being understood as a digestive health issue. Now, we talk about this all the time, the book by Natasha Kinsky-Campbell, The a Gut and Psychology Syndrome, very important book for folks who are trying to understand schizophrenia and autism, or really all mental health issues. But more and more, we're understanding that autism and what is called ASD, or Autism Spectrum Disorder, is a gut issue, a digestive health issue. And this should come as no surprise to anybody who listens to this program. The link between probiotics, the link between between gut bacteria and mental health is underestimated at our own peril. And that doesn't just mean the really dramatic health challenges like, like uh, uh, schizophrenia and autism, but even things like depression. 
uh, can be associated to problems with gut bacteria. Even things like brain fog can be associated to gut bacteria. Even Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease and movement disorders can be backtracked to issues with gut bacteria, so-called dysbiosis. And given how most of us eat, and given, us, given the standard American diet, how most of us are trained to eat, this should come as no surprise. So using probiotic supplements is incredibly important. They're not the mighty 90 essential nutrients, but the probiotic supplements, the mighty, the, uh, the ultimate nightly essence, fermented foods, anything you could do to support the bacteria in the gut, fiber from vegetables, nitrates and nitrites from vegetables. Have you guys been seeing the commercials now for beet juice, by the way? Beet, the reason beets are so important is because they're one of nature's richest sources of nitrates and nitrites, which are incredibly valuable for overall health, especially for performance and especially for the digestive system. Not, you know, I know nitrates and nitrites have a bad reputation, but I'm not talking about the kind that are in preservatives. Those are a problem, indeed. But the nitrates and nitrites that are in veggies are super important for health, particularly the health of the, of the gut and the digestive system. All right, 844-236-6010. I think we got EB back. EB, are you there? EB. Hello. Uh, hey, what's going on, EB? Got some phone problems there. How you doing? What's going on tonight, today? So I'm asking a question about arthritis. I recently... Um, visiting with my cousin in D.C., and she had about where they told her her knee has arthritis. So we're just thinking, well, what is arthritis? I mean, well, that's a, that's a good fall? question, actually. You know, we always talk about it as if everybody knows what it is, but, but uh, you know, point well taken. Maybe we don't really know exactly what arthritis is. It's the key to understanding arthritis is in the word arthritis. Itis means inflammation. Arth means joint. So arthritis is just technically joint inflammation. However, that inflammation ultimately leads to a breakdown in the cells that make up that joint. Remember, inflammation is like a beaver's dam. It's a blockade. It's one of the ways the body protects itself, but in the inflammatory process, when it's long-term, can actually keep nutrients from getting into the area, can keep uh, oxygen from getting into the area, and can cause uh, an accumulation of toxicity as toxins don't leave the area. That beaver's dam that is sequestering the, uh, the, damaged, the damaged tissue also can be counterproductive in the long run, and that's where the downward spiral of inflammatory diseases, including arthritis, really begins. Hang on. we got to take a break, EB. I'll finish up when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side, 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to EB in Minnesota about arthritis. You there, ma'am? Yes, EB? thank you, oh. Dr. Ben. Okay, Pharmacist Ben, first of all. And okay. uh, second of all, arthritis is an uh, inflammatory condition of the joints. Itis means inflammation. Arth means joint. Arthritis, inflam inflamed joints. Inflammation is the result of the sequestering of a certain part of the body to pr as a protective response. Inflammation is protection. This is the flaw with anti-inflammatory drugs. You're, you're suppressing one of the body's major strategies for, for protection. And that, can, that means that you're, more li you're likely to have more problems. So uh, an uh, the inflammatory process is counterproductive when it occurs long term. Short term, it's, def it's defensive and protective. Long term is where we run into a problem. The answer is not to artificially and pharmacologically suppress the inflammation. It is to correct the damage that's causing the inflammation in the first place. In the case of the joints, that means rebuilding or helping the body rebuild the connective tissue in addition to eliminating stress. So number one, we want supplements that help rebuild the connective tissue. And when I say number one, I'm just, I'm just talking for, for our purposes here in the program. They're both important, uh, eliminating toxicity as well as rebuilding. Rebuild with protein primarily. The joints are made of protein. Sometimes we underestimate the importance of protein because we're always focusing on the micronutrients, the vitamins and the minerals, but protein itself is a key player in rebuilding. Uh, whey protein, egg protein, protein from fish, protein from organ meats, using supplemental protein like the Keto FX. And speaking of protein, I'm going to be talking about a brand new protein supplement from bone broth, believe it or not. And uh, I'll be talking a lot about that in the coming weeks. So you want to keep listening to the bright side. That's a really awesome protein because it's got uh, all the factors from cartilage. Bone broth, of course, is a source of cartilage and cartilage itself is wonderful for helping rebuild the joints. You can do cartilage supplements. You could do your bone broth. You can do components from cartilage, which include a glucosamine and hyaluronic acid. You can get glucosamine in the uh, Longevity uh, glucogel caps. You'll also get the amino acids for building cartilage 
in the glucogel caps, and then you'll have to get a little hyaluronic acid as a supplement somewhere else, maybe 100 milligrams of hyaluronic acid a day. You always want to take vitamin C with your glucosamine and with your hyaluronic acid and with your bone broth for that matter. Vitamin C turns on the production of connective tissue while the glucosamine and the, and the uh, protein and the cartilage factors act as raw materials. Uh, uh, keeping toxicity out of the blood is also going to be an important strategy. That means sugar and digestive toxins, doing a food diary, an elimination diet, using probiotic supplements to support the gut. By the way, glucosamine and glucogel and hyaluronic acid will also support gut health. They help rebuild the digestive lining. The Fucoid Z can be helpful for uh, healing the gut, healing the intestine. And when we say the gut, we mean the intestine. So healing the intestinal lining with the Fucoid Z is important. Probiotics are important. The nightly essence, the ultimate enzymes can be important for, uh, uh, actually the ultimate enzymes can do double duty. The ultimate enzymes are anti-inflammatory and they can also, of course, help you digest and absorb protein, break down protein and get more value from it. Um, a couple other things that are interesting and important also, ulti uh, niacin and vitamin B5, two important B vitamins. Vitamin B5, pantothenic acid in high doses has been shown to help folks who are dealing with arthritis and likewise niacin. Uh, of course, we talked just now, just a few minutes ago, about the ultimate niacin for longevity, which is a 500 milligram dose of niacin. I'd be using that daily in addition to a, the Healthy Start Pack, which will get you all the B vitamins. Whenever you take one B vitamin, whether it's niacin or pantothenic acid, or if you're taking extra vitamin B12, whenever you're taking one B vitamin, you always want to balance them out by making sure that you're getting all the B vitamins, and that's where the Healthy Start Pack comes in. And that's just scratching the surface, my dear. The ultimate EFAs are also important. They act as the, the main chemicals or the main molecules of inflammation and anti-inflammation and EFA deficiency is very common. Vitamin E can be helpful for folks dealing with arthritis. Um, alpha lipoic acid may be helpful for some folks. There's just so many ways to deal with this thing. Bottom line though is nobody should have arthritis. If you, uh, another thing that you might want to consider uh, if you're overweight, uh, the burden of excess weight can put a stress on the joints and that can exacerbate the problem. There's tons more, but that's a great start. I hope that helps you, EB. Anything else you want to ask? Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay. Take care. Have a beautiful morning and a beautiful day. Good to talk to you. Okay. Let's go to Gregory in Colorado. What's up? Welcome to the Bright Side, Gregory. Hi, again, Farmers has been. Um, uh, I got a friend. Um, I'm trying to introduce her to your uh, philosophy. With, um, I don't know, she wants. She's concerned about um, her PS. Her, her taking like Prozac in there to deal with PTSD. She has and, PTSD. Um, I, yes, and um, I, I'm not. I've been trying to explain to her. I mean, how good it is to to wean yourself off those those medications. But uh, I haven't been good about describing. You know. the the drawbacks of taking them and well, how does she uh, feel? That's philosophy. Here, oh, well, here's the deal. Here, Prozac's kind of an interesting drug. You know, I remember when there was no Prozac, and when you had uh, when you had uh, PTSD. They didn't call it PTSD back then, but mm -hmm. I, I don't. Know. When you had issues, health, cha uh, mental health challenges, anxiety or depression, uh, they would give you these super hardcore antidepressant drugs that basically work by knocking you out. Then Prozac came out and has had a totally different mechanism. And instead of knocking you completely out with Prozac and Effexor and Zoloft and uh, the other Prozac-like drugs. Uh, yeah. serotonin, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, technically SSRI drugs. Uh, the way they work is they numb you out. They don't, just, they don't just zonk you out where you need to sleep all day. They just numb you out so you can still function, but you don't have the highs and the lows. Now, if you're yeah. dealing with some kind of depression or some stress issue or post-traumatic stress syndrome, maybe you want to be numb. I, I don't know. I've never, ha I've never experienced it, but I'm not going to judge anybody. If, if they want to be numb, they want to be numb. But yeah. it's not going to help you with the stress. It's just going to numb you out you know the, no highs no lows it, and, and it's never a good idea to take a prescription drug anyway if you don't need it. And by the way, this whole notion of chemical imbalances is stupidity. It's not, it doesn't even make any sense. It's came, some marketing guy in an advertising room came up with the idea, oh, let's call it a chemical imbalance. It, it's, not a, it's not a scientific or a biochemical phenomenon. Chemicals are always fluctuating and changing, and there's no balance to, the chemi to your biochemistry. Prozac is ba Prozac basically, you say again? I agree from experience. I've, uh, following your advice and your philosophy, I, I was able to wean myself off Zola. Um, what did you, know, you by do? Changing my diet, uh, by changing my diet and, and supplementing. 
you know, with young with uh, Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Very nice. Um, you know, eliminating the sugar. And I, and, and I have it, you know, from my experience, that, you know, there was a numbing, you know, and it didn't change anything in my life. Right. And it makes you wonder when you can take the BTT and, and tweak your diet a little bit and then the problem goes away. It makes you wonder, was the problem in the first place caused by nutritional deficiencies or maybe dietary yeah. strategies? Maybe that's yeah. really the cause of the problem. And you go to a psychiatrist, you go to a doctor, and nobody thinks to look at these things. So I don't... And the, the point number one, I don't ever like to tell anybody not to take these drugs if they feel better when they take them. If they'd rather be numb than be yeah. freaked out, then more power to them. I'm not judging anybody for that. But if you don't want to be numb, as, as, you, experience, as you express, Greg, uh, if you'd rather take care of the problem, there's tons of strategies. Number one, yeah. the B vitamins are your brain vitamins. Niacin and thiamine in particular, but all of them are important. Swamp your body with the B vitamins. That's why people get benefits almost right away with the Beyond Tangy Tangerine because it's liquid B vitamins. The ultimate EFAs are also important for brain health, especially uh, omega-3s, which come from fish and come from flax. Uh, the omega-3 fatty acid derivatives, DHA and EPA, are especially important for brain health. Zinc is also important for brain health, and zinc deficiencies are common. And the more sugar you're eating, the more zinc you need. So uh, 50 milligrams of zinc picolinate. You don't want to take more than 50 milligrams of zinc picolinate. You'll get benefits for your immune system, for your digestive system. If you have acne, zinc is a go-to mineral for dealing with acne. By the way, I have an acne supplement that'll be coming out here hopefully in the next couple of weeks for you guys who are dealing with skin issues. You won't have to go get individual supplements. Like You won't have to get individualized zinc and individual vitamin E and individual NAC because I got a supplement that's going to have all these, any, all these nutrients in there. Are you speaking anywhere in Denver? I'm sorry, say that again, Gregor. Anywhere, are you speaking anywhere in Denver? Uh, not in the near future, but some. Yeah, you know, I, I do once in a while. I speak at the Super Saturdays. Uh, I'm not. Gonna, I don't have anything scheduled. Uh, let me just finish oh, okay. real quick here on the on the uh, brain health issues. Magnesium is also important for the brain. 2,000 milligrams of magnesium a day. Uh, you get that in the OsteoFX. You won't get 2,000 milligrams in the OsteoFX, but you want to make sure you have at least 2,000 milligrams a day if you're dealing with problems with um, any brain health issues, anxiety or stress stress issues. Then there's some non-essential nutrients that can be helpful. GABA, G-A-B-A, for some folks is helpful. The amino acid glycine can be helpful for some folks. And then a supplement called 5-H, 5-HTP sometimes works, and another one called theanine, T-H-E-A-N-I-N-E. -E. Lithium helps some people. Vitamin E is important for the brain. So many things you could do, folks. Thanks, Gregory, for your call. Appreciate it. There's just so many things you could do to deal with health challenges from a nutritional and non-toxic standpoint, but you're not going to get these ideas from the modern medical model that focuses on pharmacology. But that's why we're here every day on the bright side, helping clear up the confusion around nutritional supplementation. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Please check out my Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have yourselves an awesome, wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.